guess who's here? Hello. How you doing, everybody? Hey, Oscar. What's up, Mama? So, when I left off here, I told you guys about the whole vet call thing. The other dog now decides that he has a humping problem. Lucky us. <laughs> One dog pooping, no, eating poop, and the other dog is humping everybody. We got some crazy dogs. <laughs> but before she, you know, finishes, this is basically like for the, for the, you know, soldiers or people who's actually about to join the military life. I tell you this right now, you're gonna go through some things, but if you don't want people to take advantage of you, the things that I tell you before you come into the military life is do research. Like look at the rules and regulations. So that way, you know exactly what you're able to do and what you're not able to do. What somebody can say to you, and what somebody can't say to you. And I tell you this, do not listen to anybody that tells you the military is bad and all the negative shit about it. I tell you this right now, it's actually better than getting a regular job. Cause most of the times, like on the weekends, I don't go to work, but I'm still getting paid. Now, if you choose not to go to work in a civilian job, depending on what job it is, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna get paid. And that's a fact, but Back to what I was saying, do your you know, research, make sure you know what you're doing and what you want to do in the job that you're trying to pick. Everybody complains, oh, the military is so hard. I don't like people telling me what to do, all of this and all of that. But at the same token, I'm just like, okay, so what you think is going to happen when you get a, you know, a job in the civilian world? You have somebody that's going to tell you what to do. Unless you're planning on opening your own business, which again, you're gonna have somebody that's gonna tell you what to do. Cause they're gonna have to show you how to run things cause you just can't just up and jump one day, say, hey, I'm about to open this business and it's gonna be successful. But y'all probably wondering, why is he talking about this? So my day today was kinda, it was kinda crazy. So we have this brand new, and well, he's not a brand new, but he's a kind of a new, E6, yeah, he's a new E6. So, me personally, I don't think he knows his job because I don't. I'm sorry. You know people want to see this. Okay. I don't think he knows his job. I just think he talks just to hear himself talk. Me, I personally know my job when it comes down to know what I need to do. So sometimes, you know, when they be like, oh, you got to do this this way, I sit there and I look, I'm just like, that's not right. And, you know, I be trying to be like, you know, very respectful because there's other soldiers, you know, lower ranking, like, you know, I can't say this is wrong because then he's going to get mad or she's going to get mad. But most of the times when I don't do that, I end up having to stay late after work. Meaning, if I stay late after work, I don't got to come home to her. I stay at work with a whole bunch of people. I don't got to come home to her. Yeah. You mean you don't get to Well, see, y'all see what I'm talking about. My days basically was just, ugh. I don't get to come home and see my wife because I get stay at work longer and deal with more bullshit. So, what I actually did was today, we had a mission, we had to defuel a, what was it, Apache? No. So we had to defuel a Apache. So when we had to defuel this Apache, you know, cause supposedly there was rubber in the fuel. And if that was to happen, the bird falls down, shit happens, and guess who gets blamed? The fuelers. But it's not the NCOs that mostly would get in trouble. It's gonna be the soldiers, you know, the low ranking soldiers. Because why? Because we was the one that did the job, but we did not know what we was doing. So because we got uh, well, because we got the wrong information. So basically, do your research, 
make sure you know what you want to do and how you want to do it and always always go with your instincts because you're gonna have that one dumb NCO that don't know what he's talking about I had to snatch the camera from him y'all don't come to brag <laughs> Say don't come to brag anywho so we probably about to leave because he forgot to stop at the store and get the dog their food even though he having a crazy day look at this crazy enough to be running around like they retarded anyways my good people we're getting ready to go to the store so we'll see you when we get there Come on, Has anybody ever seen a Dollar General this big? Y'all probably think I'm in Walmart, but I'm not. We in Dollar General. This uh, thing is huge. I've never seen. Get some stuff for the party. I've never seen a Dollar General, turn and this up. is like. Turn up. This is like the third, third or fourth. Of, I can't. I lost count. This Dollar General look like a baby Walmart. Uh, but anyways, we came here to grab some dog food. So which one are we picking? And then... Because I, I don't, don't want to start shooting different stuff. Oh, that's cat food. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me stop before I get in trouble. Hey, yeah, uh, isn't my wife beautiful? Yeah, so she's crazy. Just letting y'all know. Mm-hmm. Hey, baby. This is for small dogs, Can I get your number? Oh, trust me, I am listening to you. Transfer oh, for what? Huh? Don't do it. It's fine. I got it. Man, do you trust? Just don't. I got it. I'll pop you. Play. What's up? Big head ass. <laughs> okay, I will. This face for dogs with 36 guns. I dogs are way, way more than 36 guns. Hold up. Huh? You're so disgusting. I didn't even do anything. You want his benefit? My who? Benefit. I don't care. I'm not eating it. Yes, you are. Yeah, okay. He, he take it out because you know you be snacking on dog food. You're a damn liar. There you go. He be snacking on dog food sometimes, y'all. Don't tell these people that. Sometimes. It's like, <laughs> I've never ate dog food in my life. I ate a dog. So I only ate a cat. That was just it. Anywho, so we going to see y'all when we Oh, they got some nice Halloween stuff here, too. They got a good little selection. We having a Halloween party, which I already told y'all, and we definitely about to be coming here. Oh, you fucking! <laughs> he just threw a elbow at my head. This thing is hard, and we will see. I'm coming back. My husband just had a whole entire argument with my iPhone because my iPhone is not a guy. I mean, a girl. It's a guy's voice. So he snatched my phone and was like, wait, who is this? <laughs> anyway, so we just got finished eating our Chinese food. We really didn't have anything to vlog today. But I hope you guys continue to kick it with us. And you enjoyed this vlog. You have a Halloween party. I already told them that. You guys, make sure you share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe and share it out to all your friends. Let them know that Meet the Caroos has a video and vlogging channel, isn't that right? Can you say party? Somebody say party! <laughs> you fucking sick <laughs> We got that from Teen Titans. Anyways, thanks for hanging with us and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Scooby-Dooby-Doo!